Hi everyone. Welcome to the 2013 Tallahassee Fig Orchard video. This is an update from last year. And uh, this is the long view of the orchard. I'll get there in a moment. And on this side here we have uh, the fig hedges. There are two fig hedges that were planted last year. They're very close together, so no comments about that, but uh, they are doing fine. So in between the uh, orchard and where I stand is more room for more figs. On the side of the orchard stands the New Jersey Red Unknown, and it is caged. Last year I had a horrible time with the birds uh, eating 90% of the figs. So this year I think I have finally found the solution. If you look closely, right in the center there is a ripe fig. I've had a couple so far this year, and they are delicious. This is the long view of the orchard. You can see the setup. They're approximately anywhere from 10 to 15 feet apart. They're all aligned so that uh, mowing around them is uh, made easier. And we'll come to the first one. This is a native d'Argentil. NDA, first year in the ground, a gift from JD, and I am very surprised at how healthy this is because it comes from UC Davis, and we all know how uh, virus problematic they are. This is a Ronde de Bordeaux. An RDB. No figs on it, but I have a couple of others in ground that do have figs, which I'll get to in a moment. Next to it is Marseille Black VS, MBVS. Fast grower, second year in the ground. Loaded. going to come to this one over here and you see it's shaded because it's uh, just uh, been freshly put in the ground and you can see some burn from the sun. This is a cold, cold, uh, cold dame blanc from UC Davis. This one here is uh, Sal's Corleone, second year in ground. Very productive, very strong grower. Over six feet tall. Next to it is Atriano. Wonderful large figs, and I do believe that within a very short period of time, these are going to ripen for me. First year in the ground, Gino's black. This is a Niagara Black. I have a, another one that's uh, doing even better. This is a Vista. Disappointed in the fact that this is two years old and no figs yet. And it is, again, maybe seven feet tall. Uh, this one's from Cuenca, Ecuador, originally. 
and uh, you can see down here that it was grafted in springtime on a red Sicilian. This is truly my only success in grafting this year and it's got figs already. Because the tip is growing so so nicely, I'm going to let the figs grow as well. I find that if uh, the, the, the tip stops growing, then um, it's time to remove the figs in, so, in a plant such, such as this, so small. This is a San Donato, a Calabrian fig, gifted to me by a fellow Calabrian on the forum, the fig forum, thank you so much. It's uh, I'm very, very pleased with it. Very healthy. And this too is starting to have some figs. This fig originally came from China. We shall see what happens to this one. Okay, pop quiz. Fig identification 101. Yes, indeed. Negron. Green Ischia. Yes, that's how you pronounce it. Ischia. A very underrated fig, in my opinion. Extremely tasty. Pop quiz number two. Wrong, it's not a Negron. It's a Violette de Bordeaux, which is basically saying, yes, it is Negron. Beal. I like beal because it is uh, large and tasty and produces for over a long period of time from say August to frost. Scots black, LSU Scots black that is. I'm looking forward to uh, eating these figs uh, for the first time really. Last year they made a few uh, birds got them, most of them. Scardu Black. From UC Davis. Look at the evidence of virus down there, but it's very healthy up here. Uh, another Ronde de Bordeaux with figs on it. Second year in the ground. Very healthy. Fracazzano Nero in the week maybe, I'm sorry, uh, in ground for about a week and that's why I have the, the shade cloth because it burned, the leaves get burned. This is a Bethlehem Black, first year in the ground and uh, second year in existence and it's making some figs already. This is a bush form beal. This here is a KB, Kathleen Black. No figs yet, but uh, as someone suggested, I better start pinching if I want to see any figs by the fall. This is uh, an Italian honey. I think this is going to be pulled out. It's not making a lot of figs. There are probably much better cultivars, but we'll, we shall see. Uh, this is uh, the Niagara Black from Toronto. 
originally from Toronto, let me put it that way. And uh, it's been in the ground maybe about uh, a, week, a month. And it's already producing figs, which I'm very happy about. Here's another Ronde de Bordeaux with figs forming. Hardy Chicago, probably the number one underrated fig in taste. Everyone should have a Hardy Chicago. Ray Givens said that, and he was right. This is a fiasco failure from Morocco, originally from Morocco. Three years in the ground, no evidence of wanting to form a fig. I think it has some type of an allergy towards forming figs. This is coming out. Battaglia Green, first year in the ground. Socorro Black, first year in the ground. Lovely figs and producing more thanks to JD uh, Malta Black Why did this die? I have no idea but it's coming back Nero from Just Fruits Damage from late winter early spring freeze but it's come back and making figs. Uh, this one is from my good friend Rafed. Thanks, man. This is a uh, non variegated Jolly Tiger. This one here is going to fig heaven or hell. It is a dessert king. And uh, these are the main crop figs which are dropping like flies. I cannot get Brebas here in Tallahassee, so this is pretty useless for me. Right here we have the Yugoslavian black, very productive, huge black figs. Thanks, Dan. This is Sicilian black, unknown. Disappointed in the number of figs it's producing, so I'll give it another year. This is a Baskinka Brown from Lebanon. And I have a couple of uh, purples as well in the hedge. Looking forward to seeing what this will look like. Sal's EL. Second year. LSU Purple. Talk about a bush. Didn't uh, get to taste many last year for whatever reason. And I'm looking forward to, to this as well. That's pretty much it except for the Celeste trees which I will show you in a second. If you live in the south this is what you'll run into everywhere. The Majestic Celeste. They grow like, like crazy here. They're small figs, as you probably know. 
they're good fresh eating and they make terrific preserves. They're late ripening this year for some reason. Last year, I'm pretty sure I was eating ripe figs, ripe Celeste figs by July. And this here is the granddaddy of uh, my Celestes. It is huge. Reputedly grown from a seed. Well, that's about it for the video. These are some uh, scuppernum grapes. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed viewing it as much as I enjoyed making it. Before I let you go, I want to take the, the opportunity of uh, showing you the Alma Twins by the poolside. These are two incredible trees that keep producing and producing and producing huge amounts of figs every, year after year after year. And I believe that within a couple of weeks, they should start ripening.